program trading versus individual investors. Guess who's going to win? Frankly, the program trading will pretty much every single time. Your goal is to not be part of their target market. Typically, you'll see it happen so fast, it literally happens in nanoseconds. So let's go through and talk about this aspect. There actually is a ray of hope at the end. So program trading is the use of computers to generate and execute trade orders. So somebody puts in typically seven, sometimes for more advanced algorithms, seven or more points, and they says, okay, if this stock hits this, this stock hits this, this bond hits this, and this happens over here, and the economy is here, and, this, and then all of a sudden, boom, a switch goes off inside a computer, and they sell, 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 and the market goes down, 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 and your stock, if you have it as part of one of the ones you're selling, it goes down, 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 just like that. And you wake up the next morning and think, well, I thought I was rich. Now I'm not. It happens that fast. That probably is the biggest single danger of trying to go around and do individual investments unless you're a big investor. We're talking about small investments. I really emphasize the idea of high diversification, except for the fact the aspect of how do you achieve that, probably mutual funds, ETFs, or other group indexes in the process. So, so by the time you're all done, the New York Stock Exchange defines program trading as the purchase or sale of a group of 15 or more stocks with a total market value of a million dollars or more. Boom. Unless you got 15 stocks that, that is a clumper worth $1 million, you are subject to program trading coming in and eating your lunch, so to speak, in the process. So, so in the stock market, program traders, they execute trades in milliseconds, and it's a big advantage. They are the big gorilla on the block, and you better listen to what they say or what they do or what you think they're going to do. It's a big thing. Look at the next point. In 2001, it accounted for 70 to 80% of all U.S. stock market trades placed during a typical trading day. That's huge. Now, can you sit down and be washed over in the process? Yes. Can you have some strategies to sit down and deal with it? With, with During days of volatility, the program traders, they account for 90% of all trades. So unless you're really paying attention on a daily basis, which is why you as an individual investor picking this one stock or this one bond and holding on to it doesn't make a lot of sense. Institutional investors such as hedge fund managers or mutual fund traders, they use program trading to execute large volume orders. Now, now in theory, they have some ways of separating them, but at the end of the day, it really is a matter if the stock price drops this, it's going to drop this across the entire board. It, it can help reduce risk uh, by the time it's done to, to avoid having them play simultaneously, but no matter what happens, it's the big one in the block, and you're that little itty-bitty puppy on the, on the picture over here. So some of the challenges are the speed and sophistication. It can do it much faster and much more accurately than we can as an individual. There's no emotion involved with it. So the access to information, they have a wealth of market data. And now with AIs rapidly uh, on our horizon and growing bigger and bigger daily and us training them by even talking to chat GPT, we're actually training the artificial intelligences, you'll be seeing a lot of different things happening at a much quicker rate. The, the resources of program trader, they, they can develop and maintain complex trading algorithms. They have dozens. Wait a minute. No, they have hundreds. No, wait a minute. They might have thousands of people at their disposal to sit down there and just crank, crank, crank out code that pertains to whatever they want to in the aspect of trading in nanoseconds speed. So despite the challenges, you can do a couple of things. First of all, educate yourself. Learn about program trading, how it works. Make certain you understand the challenge of it and also study the aspect of the technology. What's involved with that? And try to sit down and look at the advantage that you might have on trading platforms. You too can set up different points in your own personal stock exchange and say, okay, the following three things happen. Boom, trade. And you can sit down there and trade and have all the parameters pre-coded just like they do for the program trading. Yeah, certainly your volume and scope will be much smaller. You may not have seven to 30 different points of reference. You can have three to 10 points though. You can actually do that by using technology. Focus on big picture. You know, there's a lot of volatility, sometimes in the matter of a couple hours, but big picture wise, if you look at giant indexes like the Dow, if you look at the S&P 500, long-term, 
there is a huge amount of return on the big picture item. So focus on the long-term investing, retail investors, that's like you and me, not the programmers, the non-professional market participants that invest in smaller amounts, pay attention to what, what that, what's happening there. You can also focus on some of the smaller exchanges, especially the penny stocks, because really the, the big giant monsters don't pay much attention to them very much. Due to the smaller trades, we pay higher fees. That's a problem. And so by the time it's all done, it includes the, the retail market includes retirement accounts, brokerage firms, online trading, robo-advisors. Really importantly, the, the program trading involves the futures market as well as the cash market. So even if you're going to dabble here in the options, you're going to dabble over here on the different futures aspect of it, Pay attention. When we talk about index arbitrage, they're going to be playing both sides of it. They're going to be playing the thing over here, the stock's going to rise, and they'll be playing over here that it's going to fall. So the arbitrage aspect of it, they'll do both of them, and that way they'll always get their principal protected, but they but they hope to sit down and grab things and maybe bump up the market to sit down and get them the biggest advantage. So active trading involves trying to get a profit by identifying and timing trades. Sometimes it's it's the magic thing of the triple different uh, Tuesday by the time it's all done. You have all the different points converging at one thing. So you have the, the, the payer of dividends. You have the quarterly done, the whole thing. So you have different magic moments where people are waiting for things to happen. If General Motors is, is going to put a dividend out on this date, all of a sudden the stock goes up a little bit. And then after it's all done, it goes down. You'll see program trading automatically do different things like that. Scalping takes advantage of small pricing discrepancies in a very short term. Price drops, they, they, they program it, pre-program it, and all of a sudden they sit down and they grab it at that time, then price goes back up and they sell it right away as well. Scalping, day trading. The day traders, what they do is they liquidate everything. The official definition of day trading, you liquidate all of your stock at the end of every single day. In the morning, you wake up, you get in your computer, and you start buying stock, and you trade all day long. At the end of the day, you liquidate everything. You pay a lot of commission fees in the process, but your money is safe overnight, at least, and you're not subject to the programmers. Swing traders. They'll hold positions for days, weeks, months even, and they write, rely a lot on tactical analysis to identify when to enter and exit a position. You know, you, there's different formulas you have. Your textbook has a lot of the formulas, and they're very technical in nature. If you want to pursue that, that certainly is a really positive way of doing it. Position trading is a long-term strategy where you hold that position for weeks, months, even years sometimes, it depends what you're doing, especially if you have a good dividend stock that might come in handy for you. So on speed training, by the time you're done looking at all the aspects of it, it has the algorithm that, that the advantage of different aspects of it and the human emotion is totally gone. The, the ability to back test, you can run the algorithms based on past data to see what worked in the past. Those are different aspects of it. So you have the machines making predictions as to what's going to happen in the future. You have the emotion totally gone. There's no love on program trading tied to anything. You as an investor, relatively, we still have good returns. It is not as good as program trading because we're much slower in the process, but we can, you can make a good, decent living in the stock market on a regular basis. The disadvantage, we're still human. Now, we may, may get augmented. Who knows what's going to happen with having a program, having a neural net placed across our brain to sit there, come up with ideas really fast, and automatically program with a simple thought. That's going to probably happen. You can't shift as quickly as an AI or a computer. Okay, And we do feel bad when we lose out. Now, here's a couple of things. Uh, if you look on AIs, AIs promise on program trading, they're going to become more sophisticated and capable of analyzing vast amount of data in real time. It's going to allow traders to develop more complex and effective trading strategy. They're also going to sit there and have improved risk management, can identify and manage skills more effectively. More personalized trading. They'll sit down and start catering more to their customers. It's going to be more accessible to all the traders as, as, at what time of the day it is. And we might get out of the New York Stock Exchange algorithm of being open six hours a day and start trading in international markets on a regular basis. New trading opportunities. In conclusion, there's a number of challenges, but I want to tell you something. AI is coming home to you. Not only will the program traders have their access to AI, you too can have access to AI nowadays relatively easily with a small subscription. You'll be able to sit down there and, and, and 
figure out what's going to happen, have your program tell you what to do, and also pre-program your own thing. So just because the big people are big and they're going to probably get bigger, it doesn't mean that that all is, is, is lost because of the fact that you are going to have access to artificial intelligence that's going to help you compete at a much better basis. So even though I'm painting this dark cloud of program traders are bad and they'll come and get you, the truth is, yes, except the AIs will probably give us a bigger opportunity than we ever had before. So I'm paying attention to the next five to 10 years, looking at the aspect of AI is going to probably help the small investor. That might be me. Yeah, I think it is. And it might be you as well. So pay attention to the future. AI might of all things, it may destroy our jobs, but it might save us in the investment market. Take care.